What's up, you guys? <laughs> Welcome to 31 Days of Halloween, where I do a new makeup look every single day in October. This Halloween, I wanted to do things very classic and very recognizable, like this piggy face from The Twilight Zone. For those of you that don't know what this is from, this is from an episode of The Twilight Zone called Eye of the Beholder, where these doctors are surrounding this patient who's wrapped up in bandages, and as soon as they reveal the bandages, she has a normal person's face, but everybody else has this face, and she's the ugly one. If you haven't seen it, you are missing out, and uh, if you have and you want to create this makeup look, just keep on watching. Alright, jumping right into it, this prosthetic is made with Model Magic, which is a lightweight clay found in any kid's section of any department store. You can paint right on top of it, and I just molded it right on top of my face cast. Once the mold has dried, just remove it with Vaseline and a Q-tip. Keep in mind that this prosthetic is still going to be attached with adhesive like Prozaid, so cover your eyebrows, your sideburns with Vaseline to make sure they don't get ripped out. <laughs> I am covering my face right now in Prose to get ready to put on the prosthetic. Once it dries a bit and gets tacky, I slide that prosthetic right on top of my face and then seal any of the edges that didn't stick. To create a seamless edge, I am using Ben Nye's nose and scar wax and placing that on the edge of the prosthetic all the way around my face and blending it out with Vaseline and a spatula. Be very liberal with your Vaseline or petroleum jelly because this scar wax is easier to manipulate once it is covered in Vaseline and it doesn't stick to your fingers as much. Alright, now to start painting, I'm going in with an alcohol-based paint to give this sort of a copper flesh tone, which we will be going over with our actual foundation. I just need to cancel out the white and any of the yellow discoloration. But once you do have that layer all painted in, go in with your regular foundation like I'm doing here and cover right on top of it. You also need to color the rest of your face, which is not part of the prosthetic because it all needs to match, right? Now to add some shadows, I'm going in with a darker brown eyeshadow in all of these crevices made by the prosthetic under those lips, under the nose, under the eye bones. Oh, and don't forget to fill in your nostrils because they need to be completely black solid. And then continue putting in shadows and highlights where they are necessary. Obviously the highlights are going to go on the highest part of the prosthetic where they protrude outward and the shadows are going to go in the little divots and crevices. You get what I mean. A cool thing about this look is that the eyes are very, very dark. It's a black and white show, so who knows what the colors actually are, but I'm going in with this red as a transition color, and then using black to really sink in those eyes. A lot of the characters differ on how dark their eyes actually are, so this is just up to you however dark you want to make them with the black eyeshadow. But now that the eyeshadow is complete, let us now set the scene. We are now in a hospital. We need to dress the part, so go ahead and put on your best nurse outfit that you can scramble. Go ahead and get yourself a nurse hat. And to really jump in the twilight zone, we gotta make it black and white. Alright you guys, this is the final look for the Eye of the Beholder Twilight Zone episode. If you liked this look, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe down below because I'm coming out with a new makeup tutorial every single day in October. Alright you guys, bye bye